So good morning everybody, Carlos here. I'm just about to go to for a run around the golf course. I've parked my bike at Fairways Market and now I'm going to be running about seven kilometers. Should be pretty quiet where I'm going. So this is the top of Garnet. I'm now running parallel to Mackenzie Avenue, but one block back. The golf course is about a mile away. Zone three. Yeah, it's pretty chilly today, but as you can see, it's beautifully clear. Fair weather clouds, high altitude strata, stratus, I think they're called. All right, I'll get back to you when I get to Brayfoot. Very soon I'll be on Brayfoot, which leads me to Cedar Hill Crossroad. It's pretty windy today, but hopefully it won't come out on the audio. And down, down, down. I'm holding the phone close to my chest, keeping my hands pressed against either side of my rib cage to stop the phone from bouncing too much. Zone four. I'll walk this off a little bit. Wind, Brayfoot, this is Brayfoot here. And at the lights, that's Cedar Hill Crossroad. Epsom Drive, Zone 3. So take another walk break. This will be the nostril shot for today. Hi everybody. My bandana is crooked. The Epsom Drive leads to Queensbury Avenue, which is the north end of the golf course and King's Pond is just off the north end of the golf course. I'll walk a little bit now as I compose my thoughts a little bit. Nice looking daffodils. <laughs> So it's March. March, what was it? In like a lamb, in like a lion, out like a lamb. This is kind of lion-esque, windy and chilly. There was some rain the other day. Queensberry Avenue. Let me go up to the chip trail right away. I'll see King's Pond just the same going this way, but I can keep the video rolling a little bit better here. Give you a nice video view of the opening up 
golf course. There we go. Unfortunately, holding the phone with both hands means I can't really zoom in on demand. As I'm on the chip now, holding the camera as steady as possible. This was a last minute decision today to make a video podcast. Hello, Pussycat. Looking at the birds. Here. All we'll hear now is the birds in the trees and the ducks at the pond. Hi there. Well, this is King's Pond now. And the dog with the cone of shame. The ducks are very tame here. To be careful not to kick a duck. I remember once I ran with Graham, my blind friend, and we ended up running through a place like this. And the ducks were at the foot, literally. Graham ended up kicking a duck. He never let me forget that incident. The kicking the duck incident. All right, back to the running. I'm keeping these clips reasonably short. Mainly because I'm having to compromise my running style to make this video. Running into the sun at the moment. Sorry about the lens flare. going to get a little bit of downhill soon. But first of all, I have to go up, up, up till I hear a zone three. A zone three. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good. There's the top. I should be checking my blood oxygen these days. I'm sure that some of the zone three business would probably show up in my blood oxygen level. That's something that is quite reliable on the phone. I mean, on the wrist mounted telemetry blood oxygen. I'm not sure how they figure out the amount of oxygenation in the blood. I'll have to check that when I get back. I'm up a little bit up. This will bring me to James Heights. Talking of James, I did a little bit of audio postcard work with his file. That sign is kind of besmirched with dirt. James Heights. This is Gary Meadow par excellence. Classic Gary Meadow. 
The sun is beginning to feel warm these days. Zone two, as I get some more downhill. It's pretty hard to run without swinging your arms. It's pretty hard to hold the phone with two hands. Hi there. Hello. Down I go. There's another water feature on the left. It's not so much of a water trap as a feature. That to be quite off course to be in that water trap. Running behind. Thank you. I'm approaching the million dollar hill, which I'll be running down today. This little creek here is Bowker Creek, which they have put in a culvert under the golf course pops out on the other side and flows out all the way to the ocean. Yeah, the sun is really warming up now. Hi. This would be a nice house if you liked playing golf. You're right on the golf course here. All right, I'm approaching the, the big hill. Runner behind. Hello. Thank you. And yet another water feature. Barwick Lake, it's called. That's a goose doing some cuddle. I don't know. That's oh, a seagull. Washing off his wings, I believe. Yeah, they've done a good job here. I used to have a client that lived in one of these condos. He probably still does. I got a message from him the other day. He's still alive and kicking. Cook is his name. He has multiple sclerosis. He's a non-weight-bearing paraplegic I guess he is he still has fairly good use of his hands
27 minutes into my run. Heart rate around 124. Beautiful chip, beautiful soft surface. It's like running on a shag pile carpet. This is the noisy end of the golf course. It's a nice looking Narcissi, Narcissi. We have a few on our dining room table that we grew ourselves. I took them before they opened because we had frost in the forecast. But they would have survived. These ones all survived the frost. That squawking sound is a baby squirrel reminding his mother where he is. Up we go. Quite undulating this route. That's why I like it. You get to do some topographical walk breaks. Alright, so that big barn looking contraption is the indoor tennis, and behind it is Mount Tolmy and that huge cumulus cloud it looks like some kind of storm cloud this is where Balka Creek pops out on the other side of the golf course at the back of the Cedar Hill Rec Center do a little bit more running before I have to hike the inevitable hill. There's that dog with the cone again. That's my next walk break up ahead. These are the baseball diamonds that the Special Olympic athletes use for training. My friend Derek comes here to play softball, I think they call it. There's the ducks coming. So I've done the nostril shot, I've done the big hill, I've done the King's Pond, I've done the back of the rec centre, and uh, the last little bit will be from Glacier Place to Queensbury Avenue on the east side of the golf course, on the quiet side of the golf course. As I put the phone again, away again, some daffodils in the wind. Three point seven seven kilometers from fairways. Zone two.
there's a harbour air helicopter. No, that's Coast Guard. That's a Coast Guard helicopter. This is the Derby Connector. And that's the clubhouse of the golf course. And uh, behind the hydro pole is the flag. You can see how windy it is. That flag is standing out quite proudly there, flapping away in the wind as I start to run again. Hello. Cedar Hill Park Municipal Golf Course. Undergrad is a general undergrad in. And down. I'm hope, hoping that you're enjoying this little video presentation, Zone 3, of the Cedar Hill Classic. I think that's what I'm going to call it, the Cedar Hill Classic. Mostly Gary Oaks here. This used to be Farmer McRae's upper field. There used to be two golf courses, well one, a nine hole golf course, and then Saanich, the municipality, bought the land on the upper field, and then they made an 18 hole golf course out of this. The big hill separates the upper fields from the lower fields. This guy does a bit of talking. Not sure who he's talking to. Hello again. Seems like a friendly kind of chap. Yep, there he goes, yakking away to himself. Mind you, he's probably thinking the same about me. Coming up on Glacier Place pretty soon. One of these next corners. I must admit, I've never tried recording video like this. I think you can see from my shadow that my arms are pinned to my side, holding the camera a steady as I can. Zone 3. This is Glacier Place. There is another fairways down at the end of Doncaster Drive and Shelbourne. But that is not where my bike is. My bank is at the bottom end of Garnet, off Mackenzie Avenue. <coughs> Runner behind. Hello. Thank you. So that's why. Off I go. Zone three. There's about 500 meters left of the golf course run. I will say goodbye to you when I get to Garnet Avenue, Garnet Road. Hi there. Hi there. Thank you. into the wind. Hi. 
This fence is here to prevent the golf course stray balls hitting the windows of these condos. As they take a zone four walk break. Three gents approaching the green there, pin high, I should say. As they exit the golf course on the right fork, I'm forking off to the right. Back to Cedar Hill Crossroad again, as it gets noisy. If you know what you're looking at, you can see Mount Douglas through the trees there. I get a better view in a minute. I'll save it for then. That's where I'll say goodbye to you. With Mount Dag as my backdrop, this is the running jackal finishing off his Saturday morning run back from the golf course. Switching to the other view to show Mount Dag in all its glory through the oak trees. This is the running jackal saying bye bye for now. Until next week.